Hey guys, today we're all on the bus. We're going to the Smoky Mountain Air Show. We waiting. We just waited in a very long line to get on the bus, and now we're going to the military base and probably waiting more lines because that's what you do at an air show. All right. Look at all that line. Corner Lot Life has arrived at the Smoky Mountain Air Show. Uh, we waited in line for a very long time for the buses, but we it wasn't too bad. We, we got here really early, so now we're walking around looking at the planes. Really, I didn't graduate school because I'm on a school bus. We had to come <laughs> on a school bus, so we're looking at planes now. That's scary. this for Cannon. Cannon wants to fly one of these one day. We have made it to our seats. We are in reserved seating which is pretty cool because we're right by the Blue Angels. And we have our own party potty so we don't even have to wait in line so it's awesome. We got really great great seats and we're in the shade for now which is good for a little bit over here who gets sunburned. Just waiting for everything to get started. Jumper will reach back and match the blue and gold main canister. You, you see up in the sky are actually used by Navy SEALs on real world missions. They also give our jumpers the ability to demonstrate aerial maneuverability under canopy. Wow. Tell me, welcome in our first jumper. The U.S. Navy parachute team, the Leapfrog. Yeah. From 30,000 feet, Navy SEALs can, if required, travel more than 75 miles under canopy to reach their target. Come and welcome in our second jumper, Petty Officer Remington Peters. Let's bring it up our hammerhead for everybody. Now, when you get up to the hammerhead, you're going to weigh nothing when you get to zero airspeed. You're going to be you're going to be weightless, aren't you? Yeah, we're going to bring it to a stop and just flop it back over, head it back down. Now I'm going to roll it back the way I need to go, and we'll do the next thing. Now we'll do a loop for you, Rob. All right, now how many G's or times the force of gravity are you going to experience here? This will do about three and a half on a good loop. Three and a half 
times the force of gravity and he rolls over. Now that's a combination of a loop and a roll. That is a combination of a loop and a roll. We're doing a little basic aerobatic training for the folks in the audience today, Greg. Oh, absolutely. Here we go, I'm gonna push on out of here. Yeah. <laughs> push it over. It's an out. And then becomes a surprise. That's an outside Humpty Bump, but watch this, a snap roll on the down line, one and one and three quarters. That's a high-speed stall of just one wing. How do you do that? Like this. Pull real hard. Pull the airplane. And this time, I'm just letting it flop. Because that's just too much fun. That really is. That's a hoot when you do that. I got to tell you, I wish I had my mother-in-law up there with you right now. You either like their backs or you don't like her. What's what is it, Rob? <laughs> Actually, I love her and she would love to do it. I'm sure of that. All right, here comes another hammerhead. Just for grand. Come out the other side. We'll do a reversal. We'll come back. And let's see. Next one is doing an avalanche. How about that? Sounds good. Now, the avalanche that we're going to hear or see right now is going to be a loop, but then he's going to put one of those snap rolls on top. So he's actually going to kind of make a heart in the sky. Let's watch Greg now in this 210 horsepower extreme decathlon. The nose comes up from about 160 miles an hour. Over the top, watch him yank real hard on the stick. There he goes. And over the top, he's got kind of a heart lying on its side. But that is the avalanche. That looks pretty good, partner now and that's roll over the top and fly aerobatics. Matt Youngkin is a third generation pilot. He is the son of air show legend Bobby Youngkin and the grandson of Jim Youngkin who designed and created the True Track and Century Autopilots. See if I can do it. Woo! Shake it to your core. When you need shade, just get in our airplane. <laughs> it's awesome. Look at that crowd. That's only like a small portion of the crowd that's here. I mean, this is like the tail end of the crowd, not even where we were. We are making a early getaway before the Blue Angels fly. We're gonna watch the Blue Angels from the car and then get out of here because this is going to be chaos. Because look, like I said, this is not even the crowd. This is a small portion of the crowd. Isn't that crazy? There's a line for everything. There was even the Navy SEALs were doing a diving thing where they splashed kids with water and there was even a line for that. Oh man, it's just, it's crazy. I mean, I'm glad to see 
such an interest, but man, it's just insane. There's even people up there in their tents and stuff. Crazy. These are all the people not even on the base that are watching from the highway. How amazing the cops even let them do this stuff. Crazy. Sorry for the shakiness. I am on the school bus. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Look at these people, they just got their chairs and went and found a big dirt pile and sat on it. Oop, there they are. We are back in our car and this is the view from our car. Because it took us forever to find our car because they dropped us off like a mile away from it. We had no idea where we were. That sucked. Looky there, who we got? It's Fat Albert. He's so silent. It's just amazing how quiet he is. He's huge. He's a huge plane. We've seen him up close. That thing just came up behind us and we did not even hear it until it was immediately on top of us. That was wild. See, if we were terrorists, we'd be dead. How silent is that plane? <laughs> if we were terrorists, we would be dead. Yeah, thing we were too busy watching this guy right here give away water. <laughs> we would have been dead. We just got a whole free case of little bitty waters and it was so much appreciated because we we're all dying of thirst. That's the guy who got actually Oh, I'm how God has water. taken care of us today. I want you to look at this. This plane is huge and you can barely even hear it. I mean, this is so amazing how silent this is. Our technology is just. Mom, it's kind of hard to hear the silence if you're talking. Sorry. I'll be quiet so you can hear the silence.
so cool. There's the formation. That's cool. He's upside down. He's upside down. Here they come, silently. there to beat the traffic we didn't have to wait too long to get on the shuttles then we left and got on the shuttles to go back to the car before the blue angels went on we still had great views for the blue angels 
the only snafu to that was that the shuttles dropped us off at a place that we had no idea where we were or where our car was in relation to that but we were able to walk pretty much to our car in a straight line we didn't have to search too much so that worked out well and we got to see the blue angels they're still over there. and they're still flying and we got out with no traffic and got to see the blue angels as we're driving away the boys had a great time didn't you boys Woo! we're gonna do it again next year hopefully we'll do it a little bit differently we've already got a plan for next year I already got an awesome plan because let me tell you it was terrible lines we got one water and then Jeremy went to go back to get more water and he could not because there was lines everywhere just horrendous lines there was a line for a line it was so bad so yeah it was just it was awful but next year we got a plan and uh, hopefully that'll work out for us but I'm going to end the vlog here if you had a good time with us and you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button down below it'd be the world to us you can also visit us on snapchat instagram and facebook corner lot life all one word we try to update that pretty much daily and i will talk to you guys later bye